Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. We've got the ladies here. We'll talk about stuff. There's lots of things I would like to find out from you all. Uh, you know, how you feel about stuff. If you have questions for me, the questions for the audience, if there's uh, people in the audience that have questions, all of that, we'll, we'll get into it. Um, I'm going to go back to LaToya here. So you have a security company, right? You have a private security company? Yes. Okay. When did you start this private security company before or after this thing that happened at the club? Um, technically right before, but mm. legally LLC wise and the whole nine okay. after. After. Okay. So what did you do before, you know, before you were doing security? What were you? Um, well, I have been a manager at Journey's the shoe store. Okay. Um, and then before that I was in the army. Army. Okay. How long were you in the army? For three years. Three years. Okay. Did you do, uh, you know, there's lots of different things that people do in the army. I don't know anything about armed services because I haven't done it. I was never in law enforcement. So I don't know. I don't think Raquel or Joanna, you guys were either, right? Negative. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. So that's not a prerequisite to be in the gun world, but you did do that. Did you do a lot of gun stuff when you were in the military? Um, not as far as handguns. Mm -hmm. Um, I of course have my M4 and I was a 50 cal gunner as well. Okay. Um, I 240, 249, um, but nothing, no handguns at all, actually. Oh, okay. So what made you want to get into the security thing? Um, so at the time the economy was really horrible when I got out of the military, mm -hmm. uh, and I tried the whole civilian thing. You know, I was thinking, you know, you can adjust to anything, whatever, whatever. And I just hated it. I hated working a shoe store, being customer service, even though it was a commission. <laughs> I was making great money. Right, right. I just didn't like it. And, and especially, you know, Black Friday and all that stuff rolls around. Mm -hmm. And at a time when it works so close to Christmas and Thanksgiving, it's, people are supposed to be in loving you know, family, right. <laughs> art-filled moods. Uh -huh. People are so nasty to one another, especially no. in those shopping environments. <laughs> I was just, matter of fact, I broke up a fight in my store on Black Friday because they was like, I don't think the mall security going to be able to do anything. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I don't need to be doing this anymore. I need to find something where I'm actually happy. Mm -hmm. um, I've always been a kind of confrontational person mm -hmm. i've always been aggressive i've never been afraid of anything uh you know i like gun stuff i like getting dirty i like physical activities so i just kind of put it all together mm -hmm. and i thought what would i do for free if money were no object mm -hmm. and for a while i did personal training on the side as well as security and then i just decided I didn't want to do that anymore either. You kind of end up a therapist as well. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to do that anymore either. So we just, I just dove head first into security and I let everything else go. Okay. All right. And then you guys, Brickell or Joanna, you know, feel free to jump in here anywhere. Um, so I don't know if this is like right or wrong to say. So hopefully, you know, I can get lots of forgiveness out of this show. I'm sh pretty sure I'm going to mess up at some point here, right? Because, I mean, I'm married to Lola. If I wake up in the morning and I open my mouth to say anything, I'm wrong. So I'm just... <laughs> You're wrong? <laughs> yes. Automatically, instantly. While I was sleeping, I was dreaming wrong. So, um, you know, but you kind of strike me, uh, Toya, as a kind of like a tomboy. Is that... I am. I'm a okay. tomboy. I mean, I'm sitting here right now with mm -hmm. lashes on, mink lashes, and a mm -hmm. black eye. So mm -hmm. I'm like really, really 50-50. Yeah. Okay. I like to wear heels sometimes, but I will also dive head first into a fight. Okay, so you so that is a black eye over there. What? Can oh you... yeah, yeah, that's definitely oh. a black eye. Okay. I got, I got caught good last night. Uh, Did and... you give one back? Yeah. What happened? I got lots back. Okay. <laughs> Wait, is there a story? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, it was just, we were, uh, the club was about to start letting out and a girl had started a confrontation on the inside with someone that works at the club. Mm -hmm. And as we were putting her out, she started to get into it with another girl. They started trying to 
confront one another. So I was going to push her out and, you know, I wasn't like hitting her. I was just pushing her out and she just turned and oh, was like, <laughs> I, I, I defended myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> I defended myself. Um, have you guys, oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I was going to say, I want to see what the other girl looks like now. No comment. Yeah. For legal reasons. <laughs> right. No we comment. We don't necessarily want to get deep into that, although I doubt <laughs> that she's looking at this. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, you seem, you know, you just kind of have that take charge attitude to me. Um, what? So what What do you guys, what does, like, Raquel, Joanna think about this? Would you guys see yourself, Raquel, do you see yourself as kind of like a tomboy, Joanna? I'm definitely you know, a tomboy. Um I'm basically a tomboy with long hair and I've actually been like my best friend um, of 15 years. I remember like six, like six years into our friendship, I was single at the time. She asked me if I was, you know, a lesbian actually, like, cause I gave off that vibe. Like the way I walk is apparently very aggressive. Uh -huh. um, and I'm like, no man, I'm just taking a break from dudes for a little while. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but no, I've always been a tomboy. I play video games. I like sports, you know, it's, you know, never mm -hmm. been a girly girl. Okay. All right. I learned okay. to apply mascara like at 25 or 26. Oh That's wow. Yeah. I don't know a lot about this about the subject of mascara, but I'm pretty sure that's late. <laughs> yeah. No, very yeah. Good. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's late. Brickell, what about you, tomboy? Um, you know what? That's a funny question because I don't consider myself a tomboy actually. I mean, I consider myself. I don't know if people think this is not a good thing but very mm -hmm. girly like i wear hair extensions i wear fake eyelashes mm -hmm. i do the, like when i do my makeup i do like the full contour like nose contour all that stuff got my nails done wait where's mm -hmm. the camera right there you here. go oh nails but, glitter but, of course yeah we got some bling right there <laughs> <laughs> yes and those nails look sharp also by the way yeah look. what is the deal is that what yeah okay i don't know i don't know if that's okay that's yeah that's oh that's the look now oh okay yeah. Okay. See, I don't know about but, these things. Okay. On the other hand, I do want to say that at the same time, like, I'm not somebody that is like, ew, I don't want to get dirt under my fingernails, or no, I don't want to go fishing, or I would, I'm not going to mm -hmm. skin a deer. Like, that's not true at all. Like, I will skin a deer with high heels on. Like, I will go fishing in a bikini. Like, I don't know. I, I, I go shooting, obviously, all the time. Like, I like to get dirty. I like, I do, I did jujitsu for a little bit. Mm -hmm. I want to do some Krav Maga. I wouldn't say that I like confrontation like Toya. Like I think I admire her for that, and I think that's really cool that she mm -hmm. can handle confrontation. I hate confrontation. Mm -hmm. I've like literally never been in a fight. I've been punched, and that's about it. And like I want to be more, a little bit more on that. Like I don't know how to explain it. More of like a bulldog type kind of where you can like. But yeah, I don't like confrontation. I don't like fights. I don't like aggressive stuff like that really? but at the same time i'm not like somebody that's doesn't like getting out there and getting dirty you know yeah so. is that a is that a um like a bad word to call to call a woman a tomboy is that is that i like, don't think so yeah i don't think okay. so at all yeah i don't I'm, think so. is it a bad word to call a girl girly like you're, yeah you're really girly? no i don't is think that so. bad? Yeah. It, is it okay no. Toya is. <laughs> said, yeah. yeah i mean i think so like american gun chick i don't know if i would say tomboy but you seem like uh, you seem like you could you could um how could i put it you're the kind of person you could talk to anyone so i've noticed like if someone talks to you rough or whatever you could talk to them rough if they're you know they're nice yeah. you can you know so you just seem like that to me like either you grew up with like brothers or something like that and you're just you know you know, you don't have any issue dealing with people who are aggressive or whatever. I don't know um, yeah, if that's I mean, the thing. I have, so, I have three brothers, and, mm -hmm. and but I mean, yeah, I, I think Who's I kind the of oldest? like. What's that? Who's the oldest? Yeah, I'm the second oldest. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. 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 It seems like you have a lot of brothers. Like, so for example, Lola always tells me that Toya reminds her of my sister, and I'm and I'm pretty sure. She told her that too, and the re like. My sister was the young; she was the baby, and she grew up with us guys. And she is the most badass one out of all the kids, you know. And I think that's why, like Toya, reminds Lola of her because, you know, she says whatever she wants to say. Like usually, any dude she's messing around with is always scared of her. 
<laughs> you know, uh, I always find myself in that situation where that guy's trying to talk to me to like calm her down or something. But, you know, so it just feels like if you if you deal with a lot of guys, I don't know, Toya, is that true? Maybe you didn't grow up with brothers or anything like that. Um, actually, I grew up an only child. I don't okay. know what's wrong with me. I just came out like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no, yeah. The, oh, man, the contrast of the way that guys deal with a woman like me is crazy. You're either mm. going to hit, like, the peak of their insecurities because right. they can't forcibly dominate you into submission mm -hmm. or, like they're just going to be a complete pushover and i mean mm -hmm. who wants a man that's just a 100 percent pushover right um i don't know you guys what are you guys into this is a good thing the guys right now are like oh let's see what do they <laughs> what kind of guys do you guys like uh let's no, I, let's I, go I, ahead go ahead agc no I, I agree with toya i i mean i can't speak for all women on the planet but no i don't think any girl wants to be with a guy that's like you know, like, go pick that up. And he's like, okay, sorry. Well, you know, like, a pushover. Uh -huh. So, but I can, I can see how guys would be intimidated by Toya because maybe, like, she'd beat him up and they'd be like, man, I'm not man enough. I got to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, um, I, well, okay, let's find out from, from everyone. Let's go around. We'll start with Joanna. What kind of guys do you like Joanna and I know you I know that you know Rolando somewhere just pretend he's not anywhere there you know in case it's not him which whatever but no, just, just let was, us know um, I have a feeling it's gonna have to do with uh k-pop but go ahead no I swear it's not T tell us what kind of guys <laughs> so I definitely had a reputation amongst my friends as dating the wrong guy um actually one of my we used to do gag birthday gifts and mm -hmm. you know we basically razz on people um for whatever like they're known for whatever mm -hmm. their you know negative aspect of their life so i remember my birthday gift when they were doing this thing amongst my friends was i got a basket like a birthday basket called toxic love so mm -hmm. clearly i was like okay i'm picking the wrong guy so i dated the jerks and i dated Tried that, it didn't work mm. out. You know, I don't know why women are attracted to bad boys. It's a terrible thing. Okay, so the dated... jerks are bad boys? Um, yeah. I, okay. I mean, and then I tried... Is that, I thought those were two separate categories. There's like the jerk dudes but, and then the, least... the bad boy dudes were separate. Or that's the same thing? Could be both. Okay. Didn't like it. Um, I don't mm. like jealous people and I don't like people mm. who try to tell me what to do. Um, okay. Then I went the opposite way and dated someone that was too nice and too soft mentally mm -hmm. so i was like that's also not my thing mm -hmm. so then at that point i had pretty much given up i i found rolando and he's like the perfect person because Aww. you don't want someone like you need someone who's like a, a man like to be like the counter to your woman mm -hmm. like i don't want to have to date someone who doesn't know how to like fix a flat tire not that I need him to do that for me, but, you know, he can do it for himself. Like, mm -hmm. I actually dated someone who needed me to help him with that, and I was like, wow. So, he's... <laughs> That's so, bad on the parents right there. Yeah. Right. So, mm -hmm. um, someone like Rolando is a catch, and because he's, he's just such a, an assertive man that, ha you know, not to... I'm a, you know, I'm a feminist. But I could do my own stuff, independent, mm -hmm. but... You know, he takes care of himself and he helps me with my stuff. And but at the same time, he's like the nicest, sweetest person in the world. Who and we just—he's very loving. So you need someone who's loving, but who's also a, a man. Mm -hmm. How's that? Okay, that's All my right. type. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Let me just ask: What's your definition of a feminist? What is like? Uh, fe what does it mean to you? Everyone, I'm sure everyone has different definitions of this, right? So dudes, typically well, I, we I hear feminists, in, we're like, uh-oh. Yeah, not not toxic feminazi. I believe in equality right. and in the good and the bad. So mm -hmm. I don't want you to pay for my stuff. I can pay for my own stuff and I can do mm -hmm. my own work, you know? Um, but I also want the good of the equality that goes with the bad of the equality. So mm -hmm. that's what I think feminism should yeah. be. Yeah, I, I, I love a woman that could pay for her own yeah. stuff and maybe buy me <laughs> some stuff too, you know? Just saying, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very cool. So let's 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 go to Toya. Um, what's what's your idea of a good dude out there? You are into guys, right? I don't, you know, I'm gonna I'm assuming. Oh well, I like both. Oh, you do? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, okay. So is what you like about a guy what's di different from what you like about uh, a a woman? 
Yeah. Oh. So, so yeah. it's a balance. All right, mm-hmm. my cats keep walking in front of me. No, so that's cool. They're not, they're not. They're not. They're um, not. Uh, they're not, not messing a with anything. Very feminine, girly girl. Mm-hmm. Oh, am I back? Yeah, we can okay. hear you. Yeah, you didn't go anywhere. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a very feminine girly girl, so I like like really pretty, really girly girls, like nails done, makeup done, weave mm-hmm. and like hey Raquel. <laughs> <laughs> Raquel was like, oh wait a second. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was like, I know this is where she's gonna show her nails. <laughs> <laughs> but with guys though, you know, I I was raised by men, by mm-hmm. real men. Um, I live with my grandparents a lot and mm-hmm. my grandma had five boys mm-hmm. and one of them, the youngest one, I actually grew up with the ha- in the house with him and they were all men. You know, you can drop all of them off in the woods tomorrow. And if you come back in a week, they're going to have a multifamily unit oh, really? with air conditioning <laughs> or something like that. Like okay. real men that have life skills that you know, can take care of you more than just financially. Because like she said, like, I can pay for my own stuff. Mm-hmm. Yes, if you're there and you're a willing person to do it, that's awesome. But I don't need you to do it. I mean, shoot, I don't need you to build me nothing or anything like that either. But at the same time, don't let me have more, quote unquote, traditionally masculine skills and, and life trades and things like that than you do. Because that's completely unacceptable. Like, don't let my hands be rougher than yours, because right. it's just never going to work. Oh, oh okay. Um, <laughs> remind me to never, like, shake your hands, because I have notoriously, <laughs> this is this is a weird thing to say, but it's kind of like one of my superpowers. I have very soft hands. Don't, you know, don't you're, judge me. You're also a guy, though, so that's only <laughs> one of the only one of the traits like you're a man yeah lola is very jealous of that by the way it's very jealous i don't know if it's an indian thing or what it is but my hands no, huh no it's just it's just one of those weird things it's just one of those weird things but you know i know people judge you by that and i'm always like man i wish my hands were rougher what can i do you know i gotta like get some put my hands in sand or something like that you know all the time make it rougher so you can yeah, be all Lola's man like yeah. Start lifting weights. Yeah. <laughs> right. Weights, no gloves, no chalk, no nothing. Yeah. It does. It actually doesn't matter. Like calluses and things like that go away real fast. So, um, so okay. So when so when if you're in the mood for guys, you want them to be men, and yeah. when you flip that the other way around, you're in the mood for women. You want them to be women. Yes, I'm okay. greedy. No, that makes sense. It makes sense. I completely understand it. Okay, Brickell, tell us all your preferences. Um, you had time. You had time to figure this out. <laughs> I don't even know. I, I, I don't even think I really even have a type. Uh-huh. I mean, I have. I don't know. I haven't dated a whole lot of people, but like my ex compared to who I'm dating now, mm-hmm. like like apples and oranges. So okay. like like my ex boyfriend, he's gay now, and he's, like, <laughs> if he, if he, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should I shouldn't <laughs> laugh at that, that, but that just cracks I, me up. That was my fault or something. <laughs> But he look, That's exactly he what looks, I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah. He's 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 pretty, like he's prettier than me. Uh-huh. And like Joe, you guys know Joe. He right. Obviously, he doesn't look like like that or anything. Yeah, Joe's he's rough and tumble, man. Dude, he's manly. So. Yeah, he's a manly dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I I agree. Like, I think with all women on the face of the earth, like if, if you're gonna be with a man, you want to be with a man. Like I've always thought that like city boys like guys that wear like designer stuff and mm-hmm. have like office jobs i always thought that that was i don't know like not that attractive mm-hmm. but you know you want someone that like you know does the same things you're into like shoots guns uh hunts like mm-hmm. does man type stuff like if mm-hmm. we're if we're stranded out in the wilderness and it's up to me to figure it out you can like i'm already like not interested you know yeah yeah <laughs> like like somebody that can you know, change a tire, uh, change the oil on your car, um, just do man stuff, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. By the way, Kathleen Music Lover says, does Hank ask the guys who come on here their sexual preference? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Um, you <laughs> what know about what? you, Hank? Now that's it's your a, turn. Yeah, I, I, will, I will answer. Okay, so listen, that's a good question. That's a good question. Um, obviously here we're willing to talk about all kinds of stuff. So I don't know if we've actually had something come up. I didn't necessarily ask Toya that. You know, she 
you know, she bought. We're, it's we're, the vibe. Yeah, it's we're. It's my vibe. Well, no, no, it's not. Listen, we're talking here, and there's lots of guys like commenting how how beautiful you guys are and all that kind of stuff. And I figured, you know, if I if I have some women on here in the gun world, we'll talk about this a little bit. So this is just kind of like an introduction to the whole thing, right? Because being women, I think that men out there are a factor of this whole thing, which we'll get into here in a second. So, okay, we're talking about my preferences right now. Okay, I'm strictly into the ladies, so just in case anyone wants to know. I know there's probably some dudes out there who think I'm a very attractive man, but too bad for you. <laughs> That's all I could say. And I like, you know, my mom was really tough. So my mom was uh, like a little old Indian lady, I always tell people, but she was really, she was really tough. She was a badass. My dad is a pretty big, tough guy, but um, I think my dad's probably more afraid of her than anyone else. And I've always been attracted to like strong women. So, and it's a weird thing because I grew up like, I think my mom always had issues with me maybe I was too much like my dad so we were always in conflict but I only respect women who are tough like you know the a lot of what you guys are saying I, I feel like everyone should bring something to the table in a relationship you know and if you're if you're just gonna lean on each other every, you're gonna fall down so you want someone that if times are tough for you you can lean on them they could hold you up and vice versa if times are tough on them they can lean on you you could hold each other up you should always be able to augment each other that's the kind of thing that i'm into i feel like um you know that's where i'm at with lola that's why we've been together so long otherwise would have never been married i'm not actually the marion type so you know you guys are so obviously a team okay thanks you see yeah. that right so, you, yeah yeah you know what's funny about that though here's the thing i'm just gonna go off on a tangent here a little bit everyone always tells me how lucky i am that you, i've you got lola <laughs> i was gonna say do you not agree <laughs> i do agree but how about like sometimes someone saying to lola you know you're really lucky that you you met hank how about that can that happen all right lola, lola's lucky you guys are both lucky but no, 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 I, feel, I don't feel that's genuine, <laughs> Raquel. <laughs> You're just saying that because I said something about it. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.